Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special video to share with you guys and that is a double bath bomb demo. Both of these butterfly bath bombs are from Ambience by Sarah. However, today I will be painting one of these myself with the paint your own kit that they sell on their website. So the bath bomb that I am painting myself is scented in a fragrance called Love Spell, which I believe is a duplication of a Victoria's Secret perfume. It's described as an instant classic. This fragrance is a luscious fusion of citrus, cherry blossom, hydrangea, apple and peach with a hint of blonde wood. With top notes of peach and apple, middle notes of hydrangea and cherry blossom, along with base notes of musk and amber. And then the bath bomb that was painted by Ambience by Sarah is scented in my favorite fragrance ever, which is champagne and strawberries. And this fragrance is described as a distinctive combination of ripe strawberries and raspberries with notes of champagne and roses. With top notes of raspberry and leafy greens, middle notes of champagne, red rose and strawberry, along with base notes of vanilla bean and hyacinth. Now you may notice in the painting footage that I didn't really know what I was doing because I didn't realize that the instructions on exactly how to use the mica and the isopropyl alcohol was on the back of the package that the paint your own bath bomb came in. I for some reason didn't look at the back of the packaging so that is obviously my bad. I was just really anxious to paint this bath bomb as this is a dedication to my mum. Now, if you don't know, I did lose my mum in November of 2020 and with Mother's Day coming up, I thought that this would be a really nice way to kind of celebrate the life of my mum. The reason I chose purple was because if you can't already tell from my channel name, my favorite type of gemstone is amethyst and that was actually my mum's favorite type of gemstone as well. And another thing that my mother and I had in common was that our favorite color was purple. And funnily enough, I actually have a pair of amethysts tattooed on the back of my neck with my mom's name underneath it. And I got this over five years ago. So it was a dedication to my mom. It was not a memorial tattoo. However, I suppose it could kind of double as a memorial tattoo now. And I should mention that these butterfly bath bombs from Ambience by Sarah are not actually specifically Mother's Day bath bombs. I have just decided to use these ones in particular because butterflies do remind me of my mum. They've always reminded me of my mum. She always had butterfly decorations like stuck to her walls and hanging from her roof. And she also had a butterfly tattoo on her inner wrist or actually rather on her forearm with her little sister's name underneath because she did actually lose her little sister when she was just 10 days old. And then she also had some butterflies tattooed down the side of her leg. So basically all I'm trying to say here is that butterflies remind me of my mum. They always have and they always will. And so anywhere I go, anytime I ever see a butterfly, I just, I really hope that in some way, somehow, my mom is out there being the most beautiful butterfly that she could be. And I'm really blessed to have had my mom in my life for as long as I did. I just, I mean, 27 years was not nearly long enough, but I do just have to hold on to that and just remember that I am lucky to have even had my mom in my life at all. So thank you all very much for watching today and until next time, I'll talk to you guys then. Bye bye.